So this is the P1 GTR and this is really what it's all about for McLaren at the moment. This is the very latest and greatest uh, of, uh, of what McLaren Automotive has to offer. It's a super exclusive, very, very fast, 1000 PS track car. Um, this is one of our test cars and we've been testing all over, well, all over the world actually. So the testing program has run from the UK uh, around Europe all the way through to the Middle East and we've been testing in Bahrain and Qatar in much warmer conditions than this. Um, it's a really interesting car and I've been asked to tell you a bit about it. So if you want to come around and join me in the office. One of the biggest differences between a 21st century car and a, a, a benchmark GT car from the 90s is what you see around me here and what that does for you. We've got paddle shift gear shift here. So the F1 GTR has had a, a gear lever, of course, and what that sums up is the fact that you're braking so much later with the downforce and the grip that the P1 GTR has. Your braking distances are so much shorter, the grip in the corners so much higher, and the response from the engine is immediate. We've got an electric motor bolted to a very powerful V8 turbocharged petrol engine, and that gives you instantaneous torque under your right foot. So it really is a, an alive car. It's lightweight, but it's so nimble, so um, aggressive on the brakes, aggressive on the power. Uh, what I really love about the, uh, the P1 is the fact that it really reflects the latest and greatest in motor racing technology. So we've got a huge amount of power, downforce grip. It's a really fast car to drive. We've developed the handling so that it's actually fun. So most racing cars tend to be driven purely to achieve a lap time for a professional racing driver. But this one we wanted to make fun. So the power to grip balance is such that you really do have to balance the car in the corner for such a long time. It's a little bit like the old cars here. You're playing around with the car, balancing the car on the throttle through the corners. Easier to do in this car than the F1 though, just the, the sophistication of chassis setup that we've, we've learned how to do in the last 20 years. But we've also got two great toys here, iPass and DRS. So just like a Formula One car, we have electric power available on boost under your right, uh, right thumb and the DRS trading off the downforce and increasing straight line speed by uh, reducing drag under your left thumb there. So while you're driving, trying to control the car through the middle of the corner, just as you come out of a bend, going up through the gears, seven speeds in this car, you can hit the I-pass for extra power, hit the D DRS to reduce the drag and you rock it down the straight. So if it wasn't fast enough already, you've got these two little uh, uh, buttons to help you on your way. Just recently we, we shot a, a video to compare the P1 GTR with the F1 GTR. So we took the Harrods liveried P1 GTR and the Harrods F1 GTR, the podium finisher at Le Mans. And strangely enough, we took them to Cadwell Park, probably about the least appropriate track I could think of to go to, tight, twisty, it was damp, icy even and we shot an amazing video and had a couple of days of really comparing the two. The difference between the two cars is two decades. The, 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 the car that was absolutely the benchmark in GT racing in the 90s now is obviously far uh, surpassed by the technology we've been able to throw at the P1 GTR in every area of materials. They both have a carbon tub. The F1 GTR led the way with carbon chassis. They both got an amazing powertrain, but this one is a hybrid powertrain that's achieving 1,000 PS. They both got huge amounts of downforce. Now with our 20 years of, of better understanding of suspension technology, tyre technology, aerodynamic development, this car is so fast around the corners. Um, I'd love for you to all to have a driving one. Um, that very, very few people have, and very, very few people will. <laughs>